Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Old Tomorrow Brewing. They're up in Canada. Uh, Pat, the co-founder, sent me several of their beers. Uh, we did one yesterday. Uh, we're going to do another one here today. Uh, another low ABV beer. This comes in at 4.5%. Very sessionable. Um, they call this Track 85 Lagered Ale. So, probably what they have done... Uh, They've used lager yeast uh, on an ale base uh, and uh, fermented it that way. Uh, uh, Track 85 carries on the tradition of a fine German alt beers and lagered ales with its unique yeast and cold aging process producing a lager-like Christmas made with both German noble hops and Canadian hops. Track 85's cooler fermentation temperature mellows out the fruitiness creating an exceptionally smooth and delicate brew. It is the perfect thirst quencher. Uh, la, 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 Aroma, subtle notes of apple, pear, blended with slightly bready character, and the delicate notes of German noble hops. 22 IBUs on this beer. Uh, they're saying it's a $2.95 can, whether that's American dollars or, uh, or Canadian dollars. And this one's got May 19th of 2016. So that, this one's got a little bit of age on it for four and a half percenter. I was hoping that was going to get a little fresher one than that, but maybe that was the last batch they did of this. So uh, May, June, July, August, September, October. Uh, this beer is right at five months old. That's kind of a long shelf life for a four and a half percenter. So we'll see what it brings to the table here, guys. Uh, I don't drink a lot of this style, which would either be a Kolsch or a, an alt beer. Uh, I do have them occasionally, uh, and they do have that nice breadiness to them and maybe some sweet fruitiness to them too. But uh, let's, uh, let's get on with this and see what this one brings to the table. Uh, food pairings for this style of beer. It is, the cuisine is German, and the meat is pork, fish, shellfish, and they're calling for the stained glass, which is a slender cylinder type glass. I hate using that glass. I mean, it, it usually pours ten fingers of head when you pour into that thin wall, that thin tall glass. So I'm gonna use my favorite glass. My review. I can do what I want to, can I? Uh, if you've got a, a stained glass you'd like to pour yours in, by all means, do it. Uh, I just don't want to end up. With ten fingers ahead on this, um, and not recommended for extended selling. That's why I'm concerned that this beer is five months old. So let's get it into the glass and see what we got here. Coming from the brewery, I would have expected it to have been a little fresher than that. So a little disappointed there, but it was free, so I guess beggars can't be choosers. And doesn't seem to be too overcarbonated. About a finger of head, not quite a whole finger. And I can see right through it, it looks like a filtered beer. It is a nice, uh, rich amber color. Good looking. A lot of bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the head. Let's get a nose on it. Yep, I am getting that fruitiness. A little bit of biscuitiness. Biscuitiness. Maybe some apples and pears. Some crackery malt. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Pat.
The fruitiness is very subtle. I really would, uh, would love to have tasted this in May or, or at least June instead of here October the 11th. Today is the 11th of October so a little bit more age on this beer than probably what it should have. Uh, should probably try to drink this beer a little fresher than five months old. I don't know what shop like these guys give their beers or this style of beer anyway. Uh, but I would I, I would treat this basically just like a IPA being a four and a half percenter, you would probably want to have it in the first month, two or three at the most, and not wait uh, four, five, six months down the road to have it. It's going to taste a little bit better, I would think. It does have a little graininess to it, but it doesn't have a whole lot of taste, guys. I mean, everything is kind of subdued, so I kind of think it's that that part of it has faded over time. A little thin, a little watery, but I got I got a feeling that some of the, the, the big taste has faded on this beer being five months old. So well, let me take it back and uh, and let her uh, have a sip two or three and uh, let it warm up a little bit and uh, see where we end up on this one. I was a little more impressed with yesterday's shanty beer, even though it wasn't as a style that I normally drink uh, than I am with this at this stage. So let's let it warm up and see where we end. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. As I have to be honest, I'm not overly impressed with this beer. A little bit of crackery malt, a little breadiness there. Just a slight hint of some lighter fruits, apples, and pears. But I got a feeling a lot of that has faded now, so... Let's do the final chug. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Not uh, not overly blown away by this beer. Uh, like I said, for what it is, uh, I'm really disappointed that it's not a little fresher than what it, what it, how many I've got here. Uh, coming straight from the brewery so uh, I would think you'd want uh, to drink your, a 4.5 percenter before it's five months old so uh, with that being said guys uh, I'm gonna have to give this I'm gonna have to give this a five which is a B minus uh, numeric rating on this guys would probably be right at that 80 uh, it's a little bit too old to me uh, five months old is too old so I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, I do appreciate Pat sending it down to me. Uh, the uh, Beer Advocate uh, doesn't have a score on it. And Rate Beer is not very kind. They have overall 35 and 35 in the style. And over to Untap, they're giving it 3.46, which is in between a B- minus and a B. It's closer to the B than the B-, minus, but... I got, and if I'd had this when it was a month old, maybe two, uh, it may have got a, a better grade. But uh, being five months old, it's uh, pretty much past its shelf life, in my opinion. So, uh, with that being said, if you've had this one from Old Tomorrow, their Track 85, Lagerdale, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, come on back tomorrow. I think we'll finish up the, the last one from Old Tomorrow, since it's another low ABV beer, less than 5%. And uh, see what it brings to the table. Maybe it'll be a little better than this one. See you then.